Howdy, lieutenants and economists. The most volatile, evil, disgusting things on the planet, humans. If you have a video request, you can always go to assholeconsulting.com. Yeah, I am gonna charge you, kids. And that is the importance of not fucking up. You are such an asshole! Hey, Aaron, came across this character, John Trammell, while skimming through Drudge. For shits and gigs, how much for a clarity test on this guy? All clarity tests are $25 a person. Although I do provide you a discount, like if you, uh, <clears throat> um, you know, like you can do three out, like, eh, it's like, you know, 55 bucks, 60 bucks, depending on the mood I'm in. Uh, let's read a little bit of this article from the fake news, The Guardian. No regrets, world biggest election loser runs for 96th time in Canada. John Tramiel initially went into politics to legalize gambling and stop getting busted. Uh, the first time John Tramiel ran an election was 1979. His primary aim was to legalize gambling. While his door-knocking efforts earned him just 193 votes, the race marked the start of an obsession that would eventually launch the Canadian into the record books for having contested and lost the highest number of elections in the world. It's perfectly all right if he's got a day job. Like, if this is for the local city council, like, hey, it's that time again, let's go. Hell, I remember, like, getting shot down at a, at, not a nightclub, but a jazz club one time when I was dancing. And uh, it got to the point where you're almost like, I want to see how how many times I could get rejected. Like, how dumb are the ladies? The ladies were incredibly dumb that night. Very dumb. 31 rejects in one night. <clears throat> and I'm like, okay. I've told that story before, right? I was in a suit, came right back from teaching dance class after I came back from banking, and I go to my favorite nightclub at the time, sort of Martini's Jazz Dance Floor. And here, I mean, you you know, imagine Cappy in his prime. It doesn't get any better than this. You know, fucking uh, the Babbitt brothers. Uh, Charlie Babbitt. Uh, Rain Man. Paul, not Paul Newman. Dustin Hoffman and Tom Cruise coming down the elevator was like that. You know, ba da 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 and uh, ever go shoot me down. And I'm like, I know I'm right. <laughs> You're not going to tell me I'm off my game. Do not tell me. It ended up becoming a uh, uh, social experiment to see. All right. I want every 31. I want all 31 girls here to say, where have all the good men gone and why can't I find a man? I want that hypocrisy to, to say, oh, it was that time that guy, I don't know what more you were looking for. <laughs> Uh, for some, for some, for decades on, Termel has con contested 95 election, throwing his hat into the ring for jobs ranging from city councilor to MP. Often running as an independent, the number of votes he receives fluctuates wildly from 11 to 4,500. Long-winded and prone to campaign ideas that fly in the face of science, such as describing climate change as a hoax, that doesn't fly in the face. I mean, of course, of course, the Guardian. Of course, they're gonna they gotta get. It. Oh my God, the perennial fringe candidate has racked up a string of. Bruising headlines over the years. Super loser fails again. But at the, am I feeling bad? First foray is just going to go into the... Uh, uh, Here he is when he's younger. Okay, let's look up John Turmel. Who are those idiots who are crazy that says uh, Turmel? How do they spell it? Who those idiots who are crazy thinking that global warming is a hoax? And then, like, then the the guardian, hey, can you donate to our? We need more money. John Permel, wiki. Perennial candidate for Canada, and according to the Guinness Book of World Records, holds the records for the most elections contested and most elections lost, having contested 96 elections, lost 95. Hey, he won one. All right, there you go. Always wish you didn't win that one. He is going to go down in history. Eh? Uh, background. <clears throat> Libertarian. Believes in Lewis Evans' Quebec social credit theory of monetary reform. Campaign for the legalization of gambling, adoption of local employment trading systems, which are interest-free barter arrangements, and for the legalization of marijuana. Yeah, this guy's might. All right. His, he describes his platform as, I want no cops in gambling, sex, or drugs, and rock and roll. I want no usury on loans, pay cash, or time, no dole. All right. Uh, he's got my vote, but again, it shows you how stupid the population He should just run for the conservative party, the Tory party, whatever the hell the 
real party is up there. Termel, an electrical engineering graduate, good. Who lists his occupation as a professional gambler known as Taj Professor or Great Canadian Gambler. Was active in the Social Credit Party of Canada and Social Credit in the 1980s. Founded, um, to, to, calls himself the engineer. Termel's grandfather, Adelard Termel, supported the Social Democrats in 1935 and he passed on a belief that social credit monetary theories to his descendants. His brother, Ray, also campaigned. I'm just trying to figure out if it came from wealth. Does it sound like it? Usually if you come from wealth, you don't go into engineering. Social credit, Christian party, Green party, abolitionist, early 2000s, dragon event, ba da ba. Everything's on his politics, which he has a fairly lengthy um, Wikipedia entry here. Gambling. Everything's on his politics, not his life. Tremel is convicted of drug possession. Tremel had taken three kilograms of marijuana to the hill and openly smoked a joint in front of politicians and security officials. <laughs> All right. Um, no. Let's see. John Tremel. Bio. Jiu-Jitsu John, it's a nickname. Everything's about his, his antics, it's not about his childhood. I'm gonna assume he did not come from. John Termel, okay, here we go, we got his website. Oh, this is a crappy website. Oh, you can tell he's, he's libertarian. It was the, hey, I'm high on pot, let's slap this together. This website is even worse than uh, me. John Termel, uh, 1974, electrical engineering graduate at Carleton University. All right, so he became a professional gambler. He's got bar, two successful blackjack card counter. All right. Legal. <clears throat> ran, ran, ran. Professional. Here we go. This is all... All right. I'm just going through all this. Wow. He scanned in actual clippings from... Uh, from newspapers. How old is this site? Last update, August of 2011. Man, we're getting some old sites. Um, all right. I, I don't want to make this too long. I'm going to assume he didn't come from money. He has a real world degree. Um, he did not, uh, he's got to have been working some kind of job because he's been, the vast majority of the positions he's running for are part-time, you know, city council, dog catcher type of stuff. What's he doing now? Still working, gambling, and you know what? Should he run for office? Yes, he absolutely should. He absolutely should. He'd try and go for a different party, but he absolutely should. Would I like to have a beer with him? Absolutely. I would have a rumplements with him. I'd upgrade him to rumplements. Sounds like a very interesting fellow. If for any other reason, if you go through his bio on the wiki entry, he has a lot of economic and um, monetary theory, uh, a lot of economic philosophy going on. So this guy is uh, certainly interesting and would be uh, at least informed in my little passion of the world of economics. So, all right, that's it. You guys got questions? Can't be got answers. Tools.